Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to join bias strips. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have a bias strip join. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. I'm now going to show you how to actually join the two pieces together. This is how not to sew a bias strip seam is placing the raw edges right side and the right side together and placing the raw edges aligned like so and then you do a stitch line about 0.5 a quarter of an inch straight down because you will end up with your bias strip looking like, let me turn it this way, this. So you've got your stitch line and when you press that seam open and unravel your strip you end up with something like this. Now I'm going to show you how to correctly sew the seam of a bias strip. I'm now going to show you how to correctly sew the seam of a bias strip. You have one strip right side facing upwards and the second strip is going to be the right side facing the right side of the other. You place the raw edges together like so but you need to make sure there is a little bit sticking out on each side and your stitch line will start from this point here and you take it all the way to this point here so it's actually making a connection with the actual other bias strip underneath and you will end up with a seam looking like this. So you've got the connection happening from one end to the other so when you open that seam out you will now get a beautiful strip of bias binding then just finger press now these ends here that are sticking out just need to be cut away let's get my scissors cut that away and let's cut the second one away and there we have it just needs and press with your iron and there you have your bias strip. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. There will be times when you need to lengthen your bias strips and the sewing of the seams need to be that accurate so that you get a beautiful finish to your bias strips. If you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.